Hearty welcome to all knowledge seekers to my channel. This is Dr. Madhusudan Rao Kadapa. In some other video, I have explained about the importance of inventory control and different costs involved in inventory management and uh, the derivation of expression for economic order quantity. In this particular video, I am going to explain theoretical concepts of P system and Q system. P system means it is periodic review system. That means the review period of inventory is fixed. So the inventory levels of different types of items will be verified at a particular point of time every month say so after a fixed period review period the inventory levels of all items will be reviewed and orders will be placed for those items or for all items depending on the available quantities for example if you look at the inventory depletion for a particular item say this is the replenishment level, this is the maximum level of inventory for that particular commodity. Suppose if we start at point A, which is the maximum level of inventory. And this is the review time, the point at which the review of this item is made. And uh, this is the lead time. Now, at this point, review is made on the available quantity of this particular commodity considering this consumption during the lead time order is placed for quantity q1 here the quantity q1 is small for next cycle if you observe the consumption rate of consumption is high as a result the inventory level has come down very near to the safety stock when the review is done so, considering the consumption during the lead time, here the consumption during lead time is somewhat less, here it is more and the stock level gets down below the safety stock level. So, during this lead time, once the minimum level is reached, the commodity will be consumed from safety stock level and considering this consumption during lead time, at the same rate during the cycle for next period the ordering quantity is q2 here if you observe q1 and q2 are different that means the review period is fixed but the ordering quantity will differ in the system now coming to the other inventory control system called Q system. Here in this system, Q means here the quantity is fixed. So it is fixed quantity system. That means the order quantity is fixed. Every time we will place an order for same quantity. Now suppose if we start at this point, the maximum level of inventory for a particular commodity, it depletes at a particular rate and this is the reorder level so once the reorder level is reached an order is placed for the quantity q meanwhile during the lead time might have went below the minimum level that is a safety stock a part of the safety stock is also consumed and the inventory level has gone to this level and once the order quantity q is placed it will reach to this level, not the maximum level. Since Q is fixed, it will reach this level. And uh, for the next cycle, again the consumption takes place like this. Suppose uh, this is the reorder level, and uh, the order quantity Q is received just when the level of inventory reaches the minimum level. Again, it will replenish to Q. In some other cycle, 
it may go below also that means uh, uh, into minus that is uh, shortage also so this is how these two systems work p system and q system so we have to remember that p system means the review period is constant whereas the ordering quantity will differ for each and every item but whereas uh, for q system the order quantities are fixed based on the value which we obtain using EOQ formula, economic order quantity. But the ordering time, cycle time will vary. So we can uh, automate this process as the consumptions of all the commodities are entered on a daily basis. Whenever the reorder level is reached, we can automate uh, the purchase process also then what happens naturally an order will be placed to the supplier and uh, it will reach the company uh, as per the lead time specified for the products. So this is how P and Q system of inventory will work. Now let us have a quick look at uh, the advantages and disadvantages of P system and Q system. Coming to the periodic review system here we are reviewing the inventory levels periodically over a fixed period of time every time. So here there is no flexibility because uh, we will review only at that point of time. So in such case what happens if the consumption during this lead time is uh, within the available safety stock then it is okay otherwise there is possibility that there may be stock out of some of the items and uh, as we are reviewing periodically the other advantage is that we can identify those items which are obsolete or uh, uh, which become dead in the inventory and uh, we can dispose those items to minimize or to optimally utilize the available storage space. Then this system is suitable only when the carrying cost is very small that is insignificant. See here as the quantities vary sometimes we may have to carry large quantities of inventory. There is an advantage also if the required quantity is large we can go for bulk purchases with uh, from discounts and some uh, discounts and we can take advantage of bulk purchases coming to the disadvantages here we have to audit each and every item periodically so the cost of operating the inventory control system will be high in P system and uh, in order to avoid stockouts we may have to maintain a larger amounts of safety stock for certain items depending on our experience how the inventory depletes there may be some seasonal variations for some products or some uh, raw materials so after a period of time when these cycles run over a period of time, we will get some experience with uh, how the inventory depletion takes place at different times. Are there any seasonal variations or uh, the, uh, based on the demand patterns, how the inventory depletion is taking place accordingly we can plan uh, to avoid the stock out situations. And, uh, The review periods for all items, suppose if there are large number of items, this P system can be used when the number of items of inventory are less. If there are huge number of items are there in the inventory, then it is very difficult to fix up the review period because certain commodities may be of uh, faster consumption rates and some of them may be slow moving some of them may be non-moving. So arriving at an optimal 
a review period is a difficult task when there are number of items as well as uh, items with different consumption rates. Whereas coming to the queue system, as the order quantity is fixed, there is possibility that we can automate as soon as the reorder level is reached for each and every item, we can automate the uh, what you call uh, the purchase process, raising of invoices or placing orders with the suppliers. And uh, the inventories are visible to the suppliers also. In supply chain scenario, if the customer's inventory levels are visible to the suppliers, then they can plan their production according to our requirements. So depending on the rate of consumption, they will try to replenish uh, as per our requirements to adjust the quantities such that no stock out scenario will occur. Even though there are number of items, whereas uh, for P system it is limited to few items of inventory, but uh, Q system can be used for any number of inventory items in the store because for every item we are fixing the reorder levels and as soon as the reorder level is reached we are placing an order automatically so the cost of operating the system is also less compared to P system because in Q system there is no extensive auditing of the items whereas in P system extensive auditing is required so that's why cost is high here and uh, there are few disadvantages also suppose uh, more number of items reach the reorder level at a time and uh, sub the suppliers for different items may be different in such case there may be possibility that some of the items may be delayed due to delay in the purchasing process suppose every day if there are four or five items reaching the reorder level then placing four or five orders is different whereas uh, at a time suppose 100 or 200 items reach the reorder level then placing orders for each of these items depending on the lead times for uh, different items so in such case it is very difficult and uh, yeah so the record of the inventory depletion should be properly maintained otherwise uh, because there is no physical uh, extensive auditing uh, we cannot understand which item has gone to uh, zero level or uh, which are stock out so we have to operate or maintain our records uh, in a more accurate way in order to identify the reorder levels for each and every item. So this is how we can uh, use the P system and Q system and depending on the number of items, depending on the carrying cost. Here the carrying, where we use Q system where the carrying cost is significant and high. Whereas the carrying cost is, uh, when carrying cost is low or insignificant, we can go for P system. So we have to select whether to go for a P system, that is periodic review system, or Q system that is fixed order quantity system uh, uh, based, based on these factors. Thank you very much. In some other video, I will explain some more interesting concepts in inventory control. Thank you.